Today I thought I'd uh, show you what kind of wastewater tank we use and how I store it. And I'm going to get out here and show it to you the type of tank it is and everything. thought I would take a tank down and kind of give you an overview of it. Uh, it came with a lot of accessories as you can see here. I'll actually put a picture up if I can find it, everything it come with. But there's some features on this one I like the most. And the best one was is it dumps from the side. You do not have to take this tank and lean it up to dump it. And I thought that was a benefit I wanted. Uh, here's your fill tank lid. And you have a vent here. And you have this other little cap of unscrews, which this hose here connects to so you can flush it and clean it out. But uh, I really like it. It's heavy duty. It's, uh, I think it's one of the better ones on the market, in my, my own opinion. But I'm going to show you uh, what I use because I don't use the big outlet, I mean, the uh, the big inlet to fill it. Instead of using the uh, big inlet hose, what I did is I made this out of one of the lids and some PVC uh, joints. And then I got my uh, flex tube that I showed in my other video. But I just drilled a hole through the lid here so it fit it. Let's see if we can get it off of there. And uh, just took some fittings, made this little piece here. Fits right back down on top of here, just like this. Tighten it up, and then this is the other end of the hose that I actually tie to my trailer, which just slips right onto a pipe. And uh, I can show you, you can see that in my other video. This is all we use inch and a half hose. So, if you're not using a black water system this works out really good I decided I'd share it with you because it's been working for us really good I also wanted to show you what I use for a cover to cover my tank up with this is just a barbecue grill cover and as you can see I actually cut a hole in it and duct tape it from both sides that's to reinforce where the cut is the purpose of that is if you come over here to the tank it has that hook in the back of it right there so I stick the cover over the tank first, and then it still allows the hook to come out so I can latch it to the ladder. This kind of shows you how the hole allows the bracket to stick through, allowing you to put it over your ladder. I just come with that idea because I wanted to protect the tank. Also, too, it makes it less noticeable. So if you get out of your vehicle and leave it parked, uh, it doesn't entice somebody to try to come over and take it. But uh, it's just my idea. It's a barbecue grill cover is all it is. And I slide it down over the top of it. It's a little large. So I just fold these sides in, fold this side in, and then there's a strap that goes across here that fastens it down. Let me put that on there and show it to you. So you can see how I put this uh, ratchet strap around it. I just wrap it around my ladder, and I bring the two hooks into the straps so they overlap each other. It goes around my ladder here comes around the other side and feeds from the side. Now what I got here is an extra ladder that I bring with me. It's an extension ladder. So it helps to support it on there too at the same time. It is fastened down with a couple other straps, but it kind of wraps around there and uh, fits up pretty good. But this makes it nice and snug. It allows you to cover your tank up so it ain't so noticeable. And it holds it tight. You can see this. What I have done is I drilled a hole through the ladder. Since this thing wraps around this and goes over the other side, I drill a hole through the ladder, take the lock, and then I just lock it. And then this way it can't be uh, taken off here without a key. Also secures it on your ladder so you won't lose it. Well, I hope this helps you guys. Thanks for watching again.